So you've seen Michigan put their foots on Michael Penix Jr. in Washington. They went through Alabama, of all teams, to do it. I felt like that was actually the national championship game, how well that played out with the overtime and all of that. That felt like it was it. But I didn't even want to talk about it. I didn't even want to make a video about it. I didn't want to jinx it until we finished off what we had to do against Michael Penny because we know he can throw deep and he, he can move. and You know what I'm saying? So I, I had to just let it play out. But we're here, though. You know what I'm saying? But in this in this championship game, you had, you had the running game was running up top notch. The defense was playing incredible. The offensive line and the defensive line was going crazy. You got two touchdowns by Blake Corum, two by Donovan Edwards. Second half had me a little nervous because Washington caught on to that run game. They ended up with 300 yards, but I'm saying Washington caught on. That run game wasn't looking like it was looking in the first half. You know what I'm saying? So they made some adjustments. But as you can see from the coaching of Harbaugh, he made some adjustments as well, and we got the win. Uh, it, it was just a good game, man. I was ha I'm happy to see Michigan back on top. And they have a chance to be there for a while if Harbaugh stays or if he leaves. Now, it's just been rumored that Michigan offered Harbaugh a $125 million contract extension. Uh, his contract now was to, to go through 2026. But he's been entertaining NFL offers, uh, taking meetings with teams in the meantime. But this contract extension would... Uh, not allow him to entertain any NFL offers for the next year, just the next year. But it, it would contract him for 10 years at $125 million, making him the highest paid football coach in NCAA right now. Like um, Nick Saban is getting $11.4 million a year. I think Dabo Sweeney um, uh, topped the market at like one fifteen somewhere around there. But so that's up to Harbaugh if he wants to do it. And that equals out to about twelve point five uh, million a year. But that's college. That would be the top in college. NFL goes higher than that. We see Bill Belichick now. We know how many years he got in the game, but he's at twenty five million a year. And they've been rumored to let Belichick go this year. I don't know if it's if they will or they won't. But next in line after that, Sean Payton with the Broncos and this debacle with uh, Russell Williams, Wilson and all of that. He's getting eighteen million million a year. You know, you got my 49ers, Kyle Shanahan, he's getting 14 a year. So it's not out of the ordinary that one of these teams that are struggling and that needs a boost and maybe they got, you know, the draft coming up. Maybe one of these teams are slated to get, you know, Caleb Williams or a certain player that makes it enticing for Hardball to come in. And not only that, he can be, you know, upwards uh, it, it, anywhere in that range, you know, 18 million, you know, he can, I'm sure he can probably try to demand what Sean Payton is getting or more, you know, I'm sure some team would be willing to pay around that 19 million or 20 million a mark. You never know because when teams are thirsty for trying to get back on the map and you see that Harbaugh has a proven record of doing this not only for NFL teams with the 49ers and Colin Kaepernick and when they and they should have had that Super Bowl, but not only doing it for them, but going to the college level and doing it there. The proof is in the pudding. He's he's he showed you he can do it and he knows that the coach at the highest level, especially with that San, San Francisco team. That was the same team that was failing from like the year prior. That wasn't doing so great. He took pretty much the same team and Got them together, took them to the top. So Harbaugh is a very coveted coach right now. I'm um, wondering why Michigan, you know, I guess they're trying to give him the extension to, to bring him in to stay there longer. But I think they know that his mind may be set on the NFL which is why they only put in the one year, you know, just for the next year, you can't entertain NFL teams. This is why I think that Harbaugh is really kind of set on going to the NFL. For one, it's going to be a, it's going to be a pay bump. That's, that's bigger than what NCAA is really offering right now, which they offer in the highest, the highest uh, coach. They offer him the number for to be the highest paid coach. But the NFL just has more money to offer, and it has more cachet. It's just a bigger league and a bigger. It's the it's the it's the top of the stage. 
It's the biggest stage, you know. Only downside is you starting over. You starting over all the way over. I wanted to hear what Stephen A. Smith and uh, Shannon Sharp had to say about this, but I don't know they was on vacation or something. But um, when I listened to Skip and um, Keyshawn Johnson and, and, and Richard Sherman, Skip and Richard thinks that he's going to stay at Michigan. Keyshawn thinks he's still got something to prove by going to the NFL. And I think that one year clause where they say, okay, just – just one year, we we won't you you don't have you can't entertain NFL teams because they're trying to run it back this next year, right? Get another championship, and then maybe they could do a little more renegotiating, a little more this, that, and the other. But they know he eventually wants to go to the NFL, but you can't knowing that you still can't come to him with a half hat in hand offer. So you got to offer him the top of the top to even get him to consider to stay. And then so they're giving him the leeway to say, okay, even if he does sign with us and say, I'm, be, I'm with y'all for 10 years, it's nothing that's actually keeping him there for the full 10 years. I don't know how many years that it would be needed for him to stay or if, or if any of the years would be, because I can only imagine if they they saying you can't entertain NFL, NFL offers after only one year, then I would, I would imagine he could sign with an NFL offer and, Null and void that contract, but offers on the table. We'll see if he if he takes it or not. Um, I think this is enticing. I think this is the right move by Michigan to jump in there and offer him top dollar. But I think if they really wanted to rein him in, I think you probably should have just went higher than than the twelve five. The, the twelve five, the one twenty five for ten years, it's 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 great. It's great, but I think if you did really want to lock him in, then you would probably have to kind of do like NFL type numbers. So you would probably have to be the program to make the jump to at least fifteen. You know what I'm saying? You probably have to at least go one fifty for ten years and, and see if he bites at that. Just just to kind of let him know, hey, I'm willing to bump you up significantly past Saban to get you to know that we are serious and we want you here. You know, I think maybe if that, if they did that, if they came, you know, came at him with the, about the 15, now you're talking NFL numbers. You know, Kyle Shanahan gets 14 million a year. You know, uh, Sean Payton getting 18 a year, but it's like you you right in there. You know what I'm saying? Right in there with what they'd be doing and you locked in and you somewhere where you love and you, you can already made a championship and you got a chance to keep going. You know, but right here, I mean, it's the right thing to do. They offered him twelve five, but I think this gives him still the option of saying, you know what, I, I think I want to still dance with the NFL or whatever, whatever. Only thing, though, with this, man, is that you got to start over. You got to start over, Harbaugh, just because I don't know which team would be the best fit for you. But, you know, some teams have more to work with than others, you know, but like the Raiders would be probably a better choice than the Commanders, but just the teams that are on the table right now, eh, it's a start over move. But he's no stranger to starting over. He definitely uh, takes teams, and when they ain't doing great, and he shows you what the Harbaugh effect does. His name brings recruits. His name, uh, you know, makes people want to play with him. His record and what he's been through and what he's taken teams through, it shows, man. It shows. Uh, and, you know, him d deciding if he's going to go back and forth or, if, you know, maybe that was him just trying to get Michigan to act right as far as, you know, because, you know, they made him take a pay cut years ago. and Or he agreed to it, but, you know, because things weren't going as fast as they wanted it to go, but. <clears throat> he got the top offer, you know, but let's just see if college's top offer is going to be enough to rival what he's probably going to get from the NFL because I'm pretty sure any of any of NFL team that's going to approach him is going to offer him more than 12.5. It's just the weight of it. Does, does he want to, because because he could be the solid Michigan coach that comes in and you'd have been to the playoffs the last three years and now you got 
got a championship, and now let's see how many you can win to try to stack up next to uh, Saban or, you know, like that. But, you know, Saban got six, I believe. It's a long road. <laughs> it's a long road. And this year they expanding the championships too, expanding the uh, playoffs. So, you know, it's going to be a few more games, which gives you more of a chance to get knocked out. But I do like the expansion. I was, I've was i been saying it should have been expanded uh, better than four teams. You know what I'm saying? But so I like all of this coming up, man. But it just, I really want Harbaugh to stay. I'm glad Michigan put the offer on the table. But I think from what their offer was and them only saying that he can't entertain NFL teams just for the next year, I think it shows that Harbaugh definitely got his eyes set on the NFL. It's just, uh, will he give Michigan a little longer of a run or or can they convince him to stay a little longer? But, hey, we'll see how, how it pans out. But I do know this, Michigan, whichever way they're going to go with this, need to be prepared whether he doesn't sign. I don't know who the next coach would be um, in in mind to keep this going like this. kind of wish <laughs> maybe we could have got here a year or two earlier so we could have maybe caught Coach Prime coming in, you know, from Jackson State. But, it is what it is. It's, he's built up a solid program, and, and hopefully, uh, if it's not hardball, whatever coach that takes his position will be able to continue it, but it's kind of hard to imagine. Harbaugh got a lot of cachet attached to his name, but we going to see if he's going to stay or if he's going to leave. Let me know. It's your boy, P. Cam. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.